Side road's always calling my name. This thing climbs like a monkey. What the hell is that? It's like a chest or, or something. What up? So this is the whole Willamette Valley. Hey guys, I found a gate. Pretty neat, right? Quite a view. Fall and kill myself. No one will ever find me. Hello everyone and welcome back to the dork side. I am the dork in the road and today we're taking my new DRZ up into the woods. That's right everyone, I am the dork in the road and I want to be your internet writing buddy. So please consider subscribing and don't forget to turn on those notifications so that you know when I post awesome new dual sport adventure motorcycling content just like this. So as many of you know because you saw the video and the mods I've been doing, I got myself a new DRZ 400S. And uh, this is not my first time taking it in the woods, but it's the first time I've made a video of taking it in the woods. Uh, but first, we're gonna get some gas. Well, we are headed out from home take the DRZ out near Shotgun Creek. We're just gonna hit up the forest roads and see what we can find. I've got a few new pieces of gear I'm excited to be testing out. Uh, I got these Icon 1000 brigand gloves, courtesy of our friends at Icon, so I wanna put those to the test. I will tell you, very comfortable, very supple leather so far. You got a lot of grip and feel on the bars. And thanks to a friend of the channel and one of my patrons, Hop 707 he found and helped me score a seat concept seat for this bad boy. Got a smoking deal on a used one. So I really wanted to get out and do a longer ride and get a feel for what the seat concept seat was gonna do under my tush. So we got about a half an hour ride ahead of us before we're in the woods. So I'll catch up with you guys along the way. is uh, the famous Brownsville, Oregon, famous for having been the filming location of the movie Stand By Me. So there you go, a little bit of film history. OHV is up here. This is all BLM land with some logging company land interspersed. I gotta tell you, so far, for those of you who don't know, the stock tires that come on the DRZ and I think the WR250R are the Bridgestone Trail Wings, but they're affectionately known as Death Wings, affectionately, because their traction off-road is not amazing. Uh, at least that's their reputation. I will tell you, on-road, they are not bad so far. And off-road, on the gravel roads and stuff I've done in the 170 miles I have on this bike, not as terrible as I was led to believe, but looking at the tread pattern, it's pretty obvious they would be pretty useless in mud or um, deep sand, uh, which we have a lot of all year long here in Oregon. There's mud to be found. So I've got some Kenda Trackmasters on order because I wanted to get them and be able to compare them to the, to the D606 and the MT21 that I'm used to on my CRF. So loving this thing so far. And it has like exactly the right amount of power. It's so fun because CRF and the, and the bras, you know, there's a point where you twist the throttle and nothing else happens. And you, it continues accelerating or going forward at the same speed. But this thing, I haven't found the point where you twist the throttle and you don't get a little bit more. And I'm enjoying that. Look at this mud pit. You guys take the rigs through there. It's crazy. This is all fresh mud too, so it's happened recently. No, I'm not taking the DRZ through there. Not on these tires. Not while it's brand new and, oh, never, actually. I think it'd be buried to the handlebars. Also, last time I was up here, when I came out on my first maiden voyage on this thing, didn't take my camera, I saw a cougar. It's 
totally saw a cougar a couple hundred feet down a side road. Stared at me, looked at, it was this road, I think. I think it was right here, maybe. Yeah, it was down there, that's where I saw it. Just stared at me, looked me in the eye. I couldn't get my camera out fast enough. It shrugged and went on down to the road. Did not care that I was there at all. Never seen a cougar in the wild before. Nice day. I mean, not nice weather, but the temperature is great. It's about 65, 60. Might be my spot. Let's look. No, I don't think it is, but no, this isn't the one I'm thinking of. But I'm already pointed down, so let me show you what's down here. This is just a short little down. Why not? Side road's always calling my name. Give me a good chance to show you how well this thing climbs on the way back up and why I don't think the death wings are as bad as people say they are. Not a great camping spot, but beats the hell out of, you know, nothing. Tell you what, so far this thing, and I don't, I don't know why it feels this way because it's taller and the same weight, but it sure feels easier to move around than the CRF. This is an after work adventure, by the way. This place is close enough that I can get out here in the evening and get home. It's pretty cool. Alright, back up the hill. This thing climbs like a monkey. I'm gonna climb a tree. I can see why they're so popular as trail bikes. Plenty of power. so far. Loving it. Back on the road. Neat little surprise up here down one side road that I do want you to see. It's this one, I think. Yeah, this looks more like it. Yeah, this is it. I'll show you. Neat little spot. Worth taking a look at anyway. Gonna start raining on me. 10% chance, you know what that means. So, been a party or two out here, some people shooting. God, it's, it's got more since I was here. I was here like three days ago. All this is was not here, all these pallets and stuff. Seriously, popular spot. There's gotta be nails all over the place. I mean, what the hell is this? That is, it's hinged. What the hell is that? It's like a chest or, or something. Huh, I don't know, you tell me. So ye old classic gravel pit. It's like a bowling ball over there. Give you a give you a good look around. No, I'm not gonna ride up on top of this gravel pile. I can hear you thinking it. I know how you are. I know how you are. How long have you guys been staring at that bug? Why don't anybody tell me? Why didn't anybody tell me there was a nasty dead bug on there? You guys gotta let me know. Type it in the comments next time. You're like, dork, giant nasty bug, fix it. I'll see it, it's just how it works, trust me. So these gloves, you just get a lot of feel through them because it's a thin-ish, but this is that Axe suede, I think. Double layer palm. They feel like, almost like you're not wearing a glove at all. That's what I like about Icon stuff, is it's very comfortable, but they maximize the protection. So these are the Icon 1000 Brigands. I'll put a link in the description. But very comfortable gloves, I like them. So this is a cool spot, but. We got explores to do. We're gonna keep going. Find the path with the least broken metal. You know? Pretty view right there. But we're headed for an even prettier one. Just gonna have to trust me. <sighs> Alright. Coming up on it. See how she looks today. Got a spot in mine if nobody's up there. So, clear cuts. Love them and hate them. They don't look good, but man, you can sure see far because of them. We're going up there, all the way up on that ridge. You're gonna see why in a second. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right, well, I'm gonna focus on riding, and then we'll look at it when we get up there.
steeper than it looks. Not crazy, but I wouldn't want to hike it. Here we are. So this is the whole Willamette Valley. You can see Albany all the way back there. It's about 30 miles away. And this is a trail because we're right on the edge of the OHV area. Kind of cool. All right, we're gonna stop and take a look at this. And over there is an amazing view too. And we'll see it when we go down and around. But this right here, unparalleled. And all of this, just all these roads, you can get to all of them. It's all forest road explorers up here. A forested mountainous oasis, it's really hills. Forested hilly oasis in the middle of the very, very flat valley as you can see. Pretty cool, huh? I'm gonna stop and just take it in for a minute. I love this stuff, you know. You know me. Okay, well, I didn't come here to just stare wistfully off into the distance all day. Let's go ride. I don't really even really have a destination in mind. I don't know this area, so we're up here to putt around. So let's go see what we can find. thing just sure-footed this feels better than the CRF it's crazy I don't know why worse tires higher off the ground it just feels more sure-footed must be the better suspension so we're gonna take this road off to the left Right here, see where it goes. Because why not? Actually, that looks like it just goes up to a landing right there. Huh. But that one that goes around the edge doesn't. So this one, that one goes up to that landing, I think. We can go up there and look at it and turn around. But this one goes off into the trees. Let's go in the one that goes off into the trees and see what's up. Let's do it. Let's check it. Check my flow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Actually, this may just go to a landing too. Maybe there is no road over there. Yeah, this doesn't go anywhere. Huh. Weird. Okay. Well. Okay, well, let's check the one on the left. Maybe it goes up there. I don't think so though. It looks like it just goes to a landing, so maybe they're maybe I have to take that trail to get back there. There's a trail off behind this, but I don't like the look of it. This doesn't go anywhere either. Huh. Okay, well, so much for that, I guess. There's always a fire pit, though. Right? Isn't that always the way? Okay, well, then maybe it's this road that goes down and loops around. Although, there's an excavator blocking it. I can get around, but clearly you're not supposed to. Huh. Doesn't hurt to go look. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know this area at all. Up there's where we were. Around the corner. Looks like. And it's closed. Hey guys, I found a gate. Does that blow your mind? Cool view right here though. Cool view. That would be a fun little ride down there. But alas. Nope. Motorcycle ATV use, it's even right there. I'm guessing that's because of the OHV park, not because of me specifically, though I'd be honored. I think we've exhausted the possibilities on this side, so let's try the other one. Happen to know, there's a decent little view off to the other side, and we could head up towards the OHV area and just see what we can see if we want to get crazy. Because there's a real good view over here, too. This is not terrible. It's pretty gorgeous up here, honestly. Pretty gorgeous. Now, let's go down here, because there's something really cool that I want to show you. Low bridge. There's a dude on a bicycle. Mountain bikers are crazy. In the rain, even. What a guy. These are birds. A little bit of 
down stuff here. No big deal. Oh yeah, this puddle wasn't here. Let's see if they've cleared. There was a big tree, yeah, over the road. I got a picture of it last time I was here. I think that was it. Maybe. It was pretty sketchy. Maybe not. Oh, it was farther. There it is. Look at this, huh? Look at this sketchiness. Right? Crazy, huh? It is totally falling, too. Like, this is worse than it was when I was here before. You see this tree? It's like nothing holding it on. Could go at any time. I don't even know how they're going to remove that. But I'm going to park the bike under it and get some pictures for you. You may have seen this on Instagram already, but... Pretty neat, right? Pretty neat. Kind of cool. I had to tell you guys, DRZ, pretty damn fun. Pretty damn fun. You want to see my mods real quick? So there's my case savers. You can see it there on the case cover. Giant loop bag, giant loop rack. My wife cut me these awesome reflective vinyls. Put the hand guards and grips on. There's the other case saver. More vinyl. Still rocking the trail wings. And this thing, another awesome vinyl. So she's coming along. She's personalized. Oh, and this seat. So far, I'm digging the seat. That's a good mod, especially for the price. A little bit more viewage for you. Yeah, so you can't see all the way to the Cascades because of the clouds, but I still see pretty far today. Right on the edge though, HV. We're gonna hit that sign real quick. I went up this one, it doesn't go anywhere. Last time I was here, there's an OHV sign. This is the edge of Shotgun Creek. Ironically, the sign has been shot with a gun. So, I don't know where these side roads up here go, but, I mean, what the hell, we could go check. I know one of them goes to a trail I've ridden before. Let's keep going. There's an exit for a blue trail. The blue trails here are really hard. They're harder than blues I've ridden anywhere else. Some of the greens here are harder than the blues I've ridden anywhere else. It's crazy. Okay, I don't know where this road goes, so let's take it and see. Virgin territory for us anyway. There's that trail where it exits. Look at that exit. That's a blue trail. It's crazy up here. Just not well maintained. There's the trail. Black diamond. Motorcycle only. Yeah, on this hillside, that doesn't surprise me. Can't really see anything. Not my speed. There's trails up there. Alright, well, we're just exploring. Would be neat to find a kill, cool campsite or two up here. I can always use the Google Maps to get me out if I need to. If one of these turns into a trail, I'm going to be upset. Yeah, I've definitely been right here. In that video where we got super lost. Not like lost, couldn't find our way home. Just like lost, couldn't find where we were trying to get to. I realize that seems like it's not an important distinction, but it is. Because if you're not lost, if you can turn around and get back out. We just didn't read the map well that day. By we, I mean me. Because Duck Van just lets me be the one to figure out where we're going. Huh. Well, here's a little abandoned looking track. Side roads are so appealing to me. Yeah, let's see where we're going. I don't know this area well enough to be like getting myself super sidetracked yet. Alright, I bet you that other road goes up on top of that hill. That would be neat to see. Or this one does. This one just goes to that. Ooh, okay. There's a good view up there. This one just goes to that log, so this is not the way. But where does this go, huh? It's looking looking promising. Look at this, huh? Quite a view. Despite all the scotch broom trying to ruin everything. Cool, huh? Cool. Real decent views from up here, for sure. good one good spot you know you're high up when there's birds flying beneath you we're all about the views today lots of good views see another shot oh yeah cool so we were just on the other side of these trees up there on that ridge a minute ago 
I wonder what's out here on the end. There's probably a landing out here, but that's still pretty cool. Pretty cool, dude. It's like we're on the edge of the world here. Just keeps going, too. Just keeps going. There's a lake down there. It's a pond. This is the best way to break in your motorcycle, by the way. Uneven revs, getting through the whole rev range. Man, it keeps going, it looks like. Oh, does it? <laughs> cool. Yeah, it looks like it keeps going in the trees over there. I wonder where to. This is messed up. No problem for the DRZ on the wonderful trail wings. Yeah, wouldn't it be cool if there was a campsite nestled up in here? Yep, not a bad campsite, I bet. This is a hell of a spot, actually. You'd know if somebody was coming. It's pretty cool in here. Pretty cool. Kind of I am in the green. You could totally camp here. This is technically on BLM land, so you can technically camp here. Obviously, you don't want to do it right now, but in the summer when it's dry, it wouldn't be a terrible spot in terms of being secluded. Back down the trail. Pretty cool. I mean, in terms of views, not a bad ride so far. Not bad. I do want to go back and see what that side road looks like. So let's do that. Goodbye, beautiful view for now. Well, as I mentioned, this is an after work ride, so still still need to get home at a decent hour and have dinner and stuff. So I'm gonna maybe check out one more side road and then probably time to head down. Yeah, I'm curious about where this goes, but this one looks more promising to me. So let's go up the abandoned looking road hope for the best. Stock tires and all. Ah. Yeah, there's going to be a few mud pits, I think. That's it. Lame. This is a decent little campsite on the edge of a clear cut. Used to be a road here. Huh, that was less cool than I thought. Cool little spot. All right, well, maybe we'll take that other little side road. Although, these aren't very side roady. Pretty main road looking. This is that soft stuff I'm trying to avoid. Yeah, tires do okay if you're not going crazy. I wouldn't want to try to get sideways in there. Okay, well, let's go towards where I know the view is real quick. Just see. A little bit more explorers. One more side road. Although this feels a little bit like a main road to me. See where it comes out. It goes down, that's for sure. It's probably the end of a trail. I know there's a trail over here. Oh. Really looping down, huh? Looking into abandoned territory. Okay. This looks fun. Everything's a lot wetter on this side of the hill. Where the hell does this go? Well, this, I don't know why. Looks good to me. Oh, somebody's been ripping it through the middle here. I'm sure this leads to the end of a trail. Oh. Huh. It's getting interesting. Well, brand new DRZ. Stock tires. Rolls right over, no problem. And I'm sliding. I can feel the danger of the death wings right now. I'll tell you what, though. She eats it up. Now I got my abandoned road. This is the kind of place where if I fall and kill myself, no one will ever find me. Yeah, just a campsite, looks like. Not a bad one. Can I get under that? We're gonna try. Somebody did.
<laughs> oh god. Yeah, we are sliding everywhere. Okay, Death Wings. Death Wings, you've earned your name. Wow, that's a neat little spot. Well, she's not new anymore. Look at that mud. It's all right, that's what we got it for. Okay, we're gonna head out down this road and probably head down the hill. Up and over, easy enough. Around the outside, two DRZs go around the outside. Uh, the Aston is rolling. There's no traction back there, oh yeah. Okay, so, remember what I said about the death wings not being so bad? Whew, that is not even deep mud, and it is sliding sideways on me. Good to know. I don't think I could do a hill climb if I had to in, in slippery conditions, in muddy conditions. It would definitely be a challenge. Need a lot of momentum, keep the tires spinning. But they don't grip in that soft stuff at all. Hopefully they're reasonably puncture resistant considering I am right now riding them over. <laughs> Lots of branches. Ooh, that front end lifts easier on this than the CRF though. Get a little pop from the engine. Didn't get that from the CRF. Okay, well, I mean, we gotta see where this goes. Then we're done. Probably. Man, we're going all the way down to the valley floor, I feel like. This has all just been a riverbed, you can tell really rutted. Man, this is way longer than I was expecting. This just keeps going. And we're going down at quite a good rate. There's that hillside we were just up on. Remember when I, remember when I was going home? That was about 10 minutes ago, at least. Well, this is about two miles longer than I was expecting to be already. Oh, here's a waterfall. That's not nothing. Very pretty. Cool. Seeing this? That's worth driving down here for. Wish I wasn't so overgrown with blackberries. You can see it better. But there's a waterfall. There's a little side road. A little camping spot. Maybe I'll find my cougar friend. Swampy area. I cannot believe this is still going. Huh. Now it's splitting. I don't know, man. I may turn around and go back. I'm in way deeper than I wanted to be already. Let's just see what's right here. This doesn't go anywhere. Not even a campsite. It's super overgrown. I'm going to call it. I'm going to head back out. I will come back and explore this sometime when I have more time. Maybe the phone will tell me where it goes. Oh, this road is on this map. And it looks like I am damn near at the end. Okay, well... Let's go see. I'd hate to give up inches from the end. Hopefully I can turn around down here. We're in the deep, the deep abandoned woods now. Lots of blackberry briars. Pulling at my jacket. That's literally it right here. Okay, well, all of that to get to this one landing. So I guess I'm glad I continued on. This would be a great spot to camp because that is the only way in and nobody's going to find you. Alright, now we're going to climb out of here. See how sketchy that is on our friend, the Death Wings tires. Well, that was an interesting jaunt with an, with an uninteresting payoff at the end. Taking out my mirror. That's why we have the double takes. They can take it. Oh, that was a good one. Okay, well, there's lots to explore up here and that bodes well because I can come back pretty easily. It only takes half an hour to get into the entrance of this area from my house. So that's the closest woods riding there is that I'm aware of. But I take back what I said about the Deathwings not deserving their reputation. I think I'm discovering that is, that is not the case. That waterfall again. Man, I wish this Blackberry Briars weren't here because I bet that's really pretty. There you go. I'm almost back to the main road. So I think I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, I just wanna say thank you for coming along with me on my first DRZ dual sport adventure video. I hope you're as excited as I am about future DRZ adventure videos and, and more mod videos and all of that. So look out for DRZ content coming soon. 
And of course the old 250L is still kicking around. It's not going anywhere, so it's not gone. Keep your, if you're a fan of that, keep your eyes peeled. You'll see some of that too. If you had fun, if you enjoyed the video for even one second, please consider hitting that like button. It really helps the video, makes it more visible, tells YouTube to share it with other people, which helps me share dorky motorcycling goodness with the world. So I appreciate your support there. And if you want to go real crazy in terms of support, you might even consider becoming a dorky patron, getting access to exclusive pictures of my adventures and more other benefits. So check that out at the link. But for now, hopefully I'm not lost. And as always, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. And please do not forget to be excellent to each other. I thank you.